Welcome on board with the First Lady of the United States, Michelle Obama. The First Lady hit the road to mark the one-year anniversary of Joining Forces, the nationwide initiative that she started with Second Lady and Military Mom, Dr. Jill Biden. During the trip, the First Lady and Dr. Biden highlighted the progress the Joining Forces initiative has made in mobilizing communities to come together to provide employment, education, health and wellness opportunities to veterans and military families. The First Lady honored the Joining Forces Community Challenge winners, announced the new partnership to train three million nurses, stopped by the Colbert Report, celebrated the Joining Forces 50,000th hire, and was joined by Ellen DeGeneres at an event honoring and recognizing the high school children of service members. On Wednesday, April 11th, the First Lady and Dr. Biden kicked off the Joining Forces anniversary tour on the South Lawn of the White House. Joined by members of the Air National Guard military band Sidewinder, they honored the Joining Forces Community Challenge winners, individuals who were being recognized for the commitments of support they had generated for military families in their local communities. Since we launched Joining Forces a year ago, we have been so inspired by the many ways Americans all across the country are honoring, celebrating, and supporting our military families. Our partners in this effort are businesses, schools, churches, communities, and individuals. The Joining Forces Community Challenge finalists are shining examples of what we've seen. Later, the First Lady and Dr. Biden traveled to the nursing school at the University of Pennsylvania, joining service members, military families, nurses and nursing students to announce a partnership through 150 nursing organizations and 500 nursing schools that will train and educate 3 million nurses on health issues impacting our troops, veterans, and their families. So quite simply, nurses are uh, the front line of America's health care system. When Jill and I uh, launched Joining Forces and we first started thinking about how to improve health care, for our veterans and military families, it was very clear that we needed to call on all of you, America's nurses and nursing students. And it is clear from today's announcement uh, that you all have answered the call in a tremendous way. The First Lady ended the day with a stop in New York City and an appearance on the Colbert Report, where she continued the conversation before a live TV audience to address how far Joining Forces has come and the sacred obligation we have as Americans to support our veterans and military families. Before the show, the First Lady ran into Marine veteran Brian Escobedo, who also appeared on the show that night. So what I do now, I, I help veterans get jobs in Texas, so what you've been doing is very relevant to me, and it helps, it's helped people get jobs, so I want to say thank you for that. Thank it's you awesome. so much. Thank yes. you for what you know. It's, it's, so it's what we should be doing. Absolutely. You know? On Thursday, April 12th, the First Lady traveled to Shreveport, Louisiana, stopping in the train yard of the Kansas City Southern Railway Company, a regional commercial rail line that has actively hired veterans through the Joint Forces Initiative. Oh, the hour, huh? Or one. It's so good to see you. Congratulations on your new hire. And I have a little secret. Because the truth is, is that when we, we started to plan this event a couple of months ago, uh, we had planned on announcing the 50,000th hire, okay? That's what, what this was going to be. But by the end of March, we had already hit that mark. And then a week later, we added 5,000 more. And by April, another 3,000. So today, I couldn't be more excited to announce that America's businesses have hired 60,000 veterans and military spouses in the past year. America is stepping up in big ways. Later, the First Lady headed to Jacksonville Naval Air Station in Jacksonville, Florida for the last stop on the Joining Forces anniversary tour. Here, the First Lady was joined by Ellen DeGeneres at an event to honor and recognize high school children as service members. When we talk about how our men and women in uniform sacrificed so much and served this country so bravely, we're not just talking about your parents. We are talking about all of you. You all have stayed strong, I have seen it. By working so hard at school and at home and doing your part, uh, you give your parents the peace of mind they need to focus on their mission. With your service, you make their service possible.